Retail tug along here. So on the left hand side is Girl in the Wicker Red Dress version 3. And on the right hand side is version 4. And on the bottom is our new avatar. And if we jump back to full widescreen view, you can see that this is all a big mishmash. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 8, New Realms, Formulation, PBD, Declaration. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we are into a self-declared three-week period, we call it refractory, which is has different meanings, but we kind of see it as resistance to outside influences, letting ourselves reflect internally, having a dialogue with our internal selves, so to speak, and exploring will be a key thing for the next few weeks. There's a discomfort in having nothing scheduled, quote unquote, for three weeks. Nevertheless, things are being scheduled full disclosure, uh, but formulating and concentrating is our key steps in bringing new ideas into reality. And we go through this every time we make a new composition. Um, we explored some features about open broadcast system that will help us down the road. Um, and then we started exploring something called Vroid and Magic Mirror. So let's show you those things. This is magic mirror which has these settings and we used another app called Vroid to make this very simple avatar model and it has a lot of advantageous things to it but we we learned how to zoom in on it make it so that it lip synced with us it has some built-in emotes and things like joy Sorrow, angry, so it's kind of cute. And you can also do things like, hello. So that was a lot of fun, and we want to give shout-outs to Luca. We need to give a shout-out to Luca for uh, the tip on that. So if you're interested in that, it's called Vroid and V Magic Mirror. So Vroid made the little cute little uh, avatar, and uh, Magic Mirror is the one that animates it. So we did that. Um, we also kind of on the spur of the moment uh, posted a picture we took in World. This is our blog. We can we have a blog? called sidearm. So we call this uh, half facetiously uh, Nyshever 1, Institute for the Study of Human Expression and Virtual Reality, the Evolving Ecosystem of Connected Apps that is the Metaverse. Yes, look at that. So you can we can actually walk around in there in our in-world avatar. Um, so that's available. And then also we finished vid editing the um, the uh, class presentations and these all have captions on them now and this has a full blown uh, time stamping so that that got done so what we want to wrap up with here is the music composition we've been working with which is called Girl in the Wicker Red Dress. And that was the other new tech that we were doing. We were working with MuseScore 4, which allows you to have um, it allows you to have some new custom timbres, like more natural sounding pianos and things like that. So we're learning to work with that. But we're also learning to work with other few little quirks. For example, in the old MuseScore, you could have two scores side by side in the same window, but 
in the new MuScore, you have to smoosh them on top of each other like this, and and then kind of do that. But to play this composition, we'll go ahead and put this into the full window, mm. put a relief, and play this for you. And what we've been doing is cons well, we'll explain what we're doing after we play it first. So here we go. So what we like about this composition, and this ends today's episode, is we're sneaking our way up to 60 seconds. It's a 50 at the moment. We're using three different tonalities, custom scale 2, 5, and 6. And we started by making phrases up from, well, basically from this one. And we copied and pasted selected phrases. Like this is a pure phrase in custom scale 6. Uh, and this is a custom scale from custom phrase from scale five. But together we like la da 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 da. But that last two parts were not in the tonality, so we're being forced to do weird things like steal notes from three different scales here and making weird sounding chords in the background, which we like. So we call this, um, uh, we called it something new. Normally we pick a cadence of chords from one tonality and then pull out a backbone melody, which we did for all three scales. But then when we listened to the background melody, we wanted it to go places, but it, we heard notes that weren't allowed in the tonality. So we had to basically, uh, we had to reconstruct, deconstruct, reverse construct. That's what we call it. We reverse constructed um, cadences, literally cherry picking across the tonalities in order to get the notes that we wanted. So that results in strange sounding chord sequences, but we love, we love that. Now there's further to go. So ideas for next time is continue working with it. Um, and continue experimenting with all this other good stuff. One of the things we do like about our little avatar is uh, that it does respond to head motion. When we look to the right, she looks to the right. When we look to the left, she looks to the left. When we lift up and look at the camera, she looks at the camera. Head nods when we're tippity typing. Um, I don't want to type here. You can see the shoulders moving, left hand, right hand, all that. What we don't have is hand tracking, so usually we hold our hands up a lot with the live view, and the, all we've got is this kind of fakey fakey thing, and also those hands are too thick for this avatar. And there's an adjustment. There are adjustments to to do with this thing, which we're still learning about. So let's put that back over there. And we're using our OBS system. The OBS system is basically, which is on the right-hand side of our wide display here. It's it's playing this little window on top of um, everything else. So we've really pushing our expertise in using OBS and expanding our expertise to include things like Vroid, Vroid, and Vmagic Mirror. So we like that. Shout outs to Mello, who stopped by, Luca for the tip on the Vroid, Silent Lurker as ever, Intrepid Explorer, and Steady Worker. Yeah. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.